Hello, this is Dr. Tom Clark from the Center for Weight Loss Success. I'm a board certified weight loss surgeon as well as bariatrician. Over the past two decades, I've helped thousands of people lose weight and keep it off for life. Well, one of the common questions that we often receive concerning weight loss surgery is, how much weight can I expect to lose after weight loss surgery? Important question. I mean, this is the whole point of doing the surgery, right? Well, it depends. It depends on a lot of things. First thing is just, which surgery did you have? Because each surgery typically has a, an average weight loss that goes along with it. Now, having said that, when we say there are average weight losses, that means people lose more, people lose less. So with any of the operations, you literally can lose all the weight you need to lose. Okay? But we do tend to see averages. Other things that come into play, your age, just genetics. So what, what medical problems do you have? Okay. How much do you exercise? How closely are you sticking with the diet recommendations? So there are lots of things that have to do with this. A lot of them have to do not necessarily with the operation, but with all the behavior changes that one needs to make to optimize weight loss and keep it off. Now, at the Center for Weight Loss Success, we see average weight loss is about 70% of what you are overweight. So if you're 100 pounds overweight, that's about 70 pounds. Now, when we take all comers, because we see people that have massive amounts of weight to lose, and we just look at everyone that we've done surgery on, the average weight loss that we see is over 120 pounds. And that's pretty amazing in itself. So, but it really depends on how much weight do you need to lose so everybody's different and again those are averages some people lose more some people lose less now after surgery or really when you're thinking of any weight loss plan uh, uh, at all not even considering surgery but specifically after surgery how do you obtain optimal weight loss well, what I've listed here are a number of things that are very important. Each one of these could be in a very extensive discussion, but we're just going to kind of give you the broad uh, picture of the whole thing. So what you should do, you need to attend your scheduled appointments. Obviously, we can't help you if you don't show up. Go to support group. Support group's very important to get discussions about how to improve as well as obviously get the support from the surrounding people as well as the the leaders there at the sport group follow your diet this is probably one of the most important things because dietary changes are huge after weight loss surgery with the weight loss surgery by itself yes you'll lose weight but you've got to make the dietary modifications you have to eat correctly the best diet plans really are eating things that have no labels on it I always tell people that the core of the eating plan and this is whether you have surgery or don't have surgery the core of your eating plan should be hydration water's best good protein sources which from food the best ones are meat seafood cheese and egg and then colorful vegetable salad stuff that is the core of the eating plan falls outside the core try to keep it to a minimum because it's probably not going to help you next you need to monitor your weight and the best way to do this is stepping on the scale and I encourage people to monitor their body composition because it's very important to keep an eye on your lean body mass your lean body mass drives your overall metabolism and so the more lean body mass you have the better off you are now there are special scales that are required to check body composition and many uh, physicians office have these but I encourage people to check this this is a very important part you want to make sure you're losing fat not losing the lean body mass and you should keep an eye on this forever incorporate fitness fitness obviously a big part of a weight loss plan not so much that it makes you lose weight faster but because it helps you preserve that lean body mass keeps your metabolism higher Take your vitamins. I encourage everyone ought to take vitamins. And that doesn't matter whether you had surgery or didn't have surgery, but it's something that's very important, very healthy for you. It'll only help you. Journal. This is one of the most important tools anyone can use in a weight loss plan. It's hard to know where we're going wrong unless we actually write it down. We sometimes have good ideas, suspicions, we, have, uh, we think we may know what's going on, but if you don't write it down, we'll never know where it really is. And that's how we can begin change. First, you have to know what you're doing.
And then surround yourself with positive people. When you're around positive people, we tend to become more positive ourselves. And it's much easier to stay on track, continue with that weight loss, if you're staying around those positive people, those helpful people. So there are just a few things to kind of work on and kind of the broad strokes of a weight loss plan to optimize your weight loss. If you'd like to receive more information, well, get our 21 free videos on the top questions you need to ask when considering weight loss surgery. Go to our website, www.myweightlosssurgerysuccess.com. Or if you want more information from the Center for Weight Loss Success, go to our corporate website, www.cfwls.com. You have a good day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.